Hey guys, what is going on? It's Cohen here, and I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to do 3D motion tracking. It's really cool. Uh, uh, everyone is using it right now on effects, and I think it's very useful. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you. First of all, uh, you need to download uh, a motion tracking pack by Derezibo. I love his channel and I love his videos, but he made uh, a motion tracking template in uh, Cinema 4D and it's pretty cool you need to use it so that's how I'm gonna give you this tutorial so let's go into the motion tracking we're gonna use 3D okay and let's say we want favela in Modern Warfare 2 you can use either one doesn't matter okay Modern Warfare 2 favela let's use this one as you can see uh, ignore this one um, we you will get like a clip right here of the of the map and you'll get a cinema 4d file let's open the cinema 4d file and I'm gonna wait to load and uh, while I'm, uh, it's opening I wanna just say that um, if you have any request uh, just let me know okay and uh, yeah as you can see it's already loaded oh okay so I'm gonna use a different one just a second no no I'm gonna use a different one uh, let's see because I already used the filler one let's use no not this one not that one either oh yes yeah, that's perfect okay so we go into favela and this is one I never use as we can see we get light wave 3d import scale is at 10 if you don't get it on 10 change it to 10 and hit ok right now we have all these dots as you can see top and all over here first thing you want to do um, go over here you wanna hold your cursor and go to background now you have your background you wanna um, go to file yeah I think it's file new material and we're gonna double click on it and as you can see we have texture uh, right here on this play thing I'm gonna click on that and load image. Now the image that we need to load is that the one we got it from. Like, let's say you want favela, like we used it right here. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna take the clip. Okay, that's it. And uh, I'm gonna wait to load. Yes, as you can see, MIP favela. Let's do this little thing. And yeah, now we want to go to material and want to drag it into background. As you can see have the background right here um, okay now that you have got the material on the background um, it, it's very important that don't just drag the material in here drag it on the background uh, okay <laughs> sorry next thing uh, mo graph mo text that's the text we're gonna use um let's say we want to use uh which text are we gonna use subscribe whoa 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 yeah what the fuck did I did sorry let's say subscribe so wait sub scribe okay now uh it doesn't matter you can put either text you want I'm gonna hit subscribe and if you want to uh, enlarge or uh, decrease your um, text you just go to uh, this little thing and just drag it and it will make it bigger um, yeah, just a second yeah that's that seems okay now we go back in here and we can change the ways we can make it on the ground we can make it floating I made floating I think it floating is a lot uh, I don't know it it, it kind of looks better uh, let's say it's right here okay now um, this doesn't look good okay so we want to go to caps start fillet cap and end fillet cap uh, object um, is everything okay in here uh, let me just check yeah everything okay you can change the font I like Bevas the most um, I I'm gonna change the font for a second because I don't like this font but um, 
I used the three, uh, this uh, 3D motion tracking in my uh, hardcore 2.0 uh, montage I'm gonna release I don't know what's coming first so uh, yeah you can see it there um, and I waited for lo to load and like I said if you have any other uh, requests for tutorial just let me know uh, okay so Bebas love this yes okay now we finished this now what you want to do uh, wait I'm just gonna make it like that we wanna add a shadow it's very important that you add a shadow um, hold your cursor right here and go to light oh wait 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 floor yeah floor sorry and oh I think we forgot something yeah go to background and cinema 4d tax and compositing okay floor um, and then we'll add a light now the light is going to be like that simply as that um, I'm just gonna make it like that yeah that seems cool yeah you can see very cool as you can see you have a light and just drag the flow I think no no doesn't matter yeah so as you can see we have a shadow and you can scroll uh, a little bit let's say to the middle uh, if it's gonna load fast and still loading I think okay never mind uh, so yeah as you can see there is a shadow a motex background um, yeah that's pretty much it so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go over this sort of yeah this uh, under the mo graph um, and now this is very important full render on the general uh, settings output you want to do it uh, 1280 by 720 72, uh, 72 frames very important frame range at all frames um, yeah that's it uh, save you want to save it where if you want I don't want to save it right now format uh, quick time movie 8-bit channel ignore this uh, multipass nothing you should uh, don't touch uh, multipass um, anti uh, whatever <laughs> anti aliasing uh, best and filter still image and that's it and now what you want to do is go the left one next to him and just click uh, there is no file name specific oh so because I didn't save it uh, you just um, press right here and it's gonna render it's gonna take about um, I don't know like 15 minutes or 20 minutes it depends on your clip length but um, yeah so that's pretty much it and if you have any problems just let me know and I'll feel free to help you so yeah uh, I'll see you guys later peace